Hi everyone, so this is really exciting because it means it's that time of the year again when I'm restocking all of my True Velvet lipsticks and these have become such iconic lipsticks. They really have. It's amazing how many times now I'm asked when um, there's a big production happening, whether it's a TV show or a movie or a particular celebrity's in town, and they always want my velvet lipsticks to feature in the films. They've, they've almost taken on a life of their own. So from way back when I launched them in 2018, they have just really gone from strength to strength. And I think people just love them because they are so richly pigmented, they feel so comfortable on the lips and the colors are beautiful. So I am relaunching all of the colors. So they're all coming back in stock. And I do have four brand new shades as well, which I'm gonna talk you through in a moment. Here's a quick look at them. Um, so that's very exciting too. Also in this launch, there are going to be lip liners coming for every single shade of True Velvet. So these are gonna be permanent and they're also going to be available individually. Because last time I did launch a few lip liners last holiday season, but they were part of a kit and it was really requested by people that bought the kit, love the liner and asked me to make them available all year round and to make them available individually. So that's exactly what I've done. So because they are matching lip liners, they are just a little bit deeper than the shade of the lipstick. So it depends what your preference is. I mean, you might want to match exactly um, and have um, a lip liner which is just a touch deeper than the lipstick, or you might want to mix and match. Sometimes I use a lighter shade of liner with a, a lipstick, so I want to give the whole effect like a softer look or maybe a lighter look. Sometimes I use a deeper liner. So I'm going to show you that a little bit later anyway, how I tend to mix them up as well as match them perfectly. So I'm actually wearing one of the new shades, Velvet Petal, with Velvet Petal lip liner now. So this is a perfect match and um, yeah, it looks gorgeous, I think. I love this color. Also in this launch, there are going to be three new shades of my Gloss Embrace lip gloss. And if you've tried this gloss, you'll know how good it is. It's so repairing to the lips. It really does almost cure those dry lips that you can have. And um, they're just, it's just a really nice texture. It's not sticky. And the new shades, I think, are gorgeous. I'm going to show you these in more detail in a moment as well. And the new shade that I'm going to start with is Velvet Petal, because that's the shade that I'm already wearing. And you can see right away that it is the most gorgeous, fresh, pink. Think of a, a spring peony in full bloom. It has just got that prettiness to it and it's not too light. So when it's on the face, it really just lifts the skin. It, 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 it enlivens the face. It's beautiful. I absolutely love this color. I'll just put another layer on. It's a really wearable, beautiful, classic pink. It's quite different to Velvet Beauty, in case you think, oh, Velvet Beauty is already a kind of a classic pink. Velvet Beauty is more of a blue rose, where I'd say Velvet Petal is more of a warm toned peony. So it hasn't got the blueness and it's a, it's a little bit lighter. So it's got more of those warm undertones. I'm wearing it here with the Petal lip liner. So you can see it's just a fraction deeper than the actual shade. So it's a nice matching one if you just want to enhance. And also I think that these, because these are so long wearing the lip liners, when they first go on, they look a touch lighter and then they set a little bit deeper. And once they're set, they do not move. You can't rub them off. They don't come off with food. So even if you want to kind of just get that beautiful kind of line that you know is not gonna go anywhere, that edge to them. Or you can, in fact, use them all over your lips. The combination of this and the velvet lipsticks, killer, because it's not going to move, not going to go anywhere. So I've just done a quick side-by-side -side swatch so you can see the comparison. Um, you can see straight away, I think, that Velvet Beauty is more of a cool-toned blue pink, whereas the new Velvet Petal is a much warmer pink. So that's Velvet Petal True Velvet Lipstick with the Enhance and Define Petal Lip Liner. And here it is on more skin tones. Okay, the next new shade of True Velvet is Velvet Cinnabar. 
Do I look excited? I'm obsessed with this shade. Velvet Cinnabar is the deepest, richest, most powerful burnt ochre warm brown red imaginable. In its various forms, including vermilion, it's been used as an artist pigment as well for, for, for forever. It can be seen, for example, in the frescoes of ancient Rome. And of course, it was also used extensively as a cosmetic, most famously by Queen Elizabeth I, to create that intensely dramatic and powerful effect she was going for, for the lips and cheeks. I know that I with Velvet Dragon last year, I was inspired by Chinese pottery, which also actually uses cinnabar to, to create it. Um, but this one is much deeper. There's um, actually, I can show you side by side. So this is from last year, Velvet Dragon, which again, I love. And um, this is Velvet Cinnabar. So Velvet Cinnabar really is a very deep, it's still a red, but it's more like a deep burnt okra red, a red okra. It's a a brownie intense red and I just feel like if you're wearing this colour I feel so dramatic <laughs> I feel so sort of it's really sensual but it's also like don't mess with me this is like the shade that Queen Elizabeth I wore and I feel like I feel like almost um Cleopatra or Boudicca this is like a warrior's colour so um this is definitely my favourite kind of this shade for this holiday season so I think if I'm invited to any parties or anything like that I'll definitely be wearing this shade Velvet Cinnabar. So when I use dark shades or reds I actually like to apply first the lip colour and then I use the liner afterwards. Uh, I think if you watch my videos before you probably know that I always do that but I'll explain my rationale again. Let me just get The reason I like to do it is because sometimes when I'm using a, a red or a really dark colour and I sort of need to make corrections on the lip line, so I use the lip liner first, then when I fill it in I don't like the shape. So this way I like to get the colour on first and then use the liner. And it just enables me to really see the shape because I do a few corrections, as you know. And because the liners apply so smoothly, you can really just put them on any time. You can put them on over your lipstick before, and you can do shading with them. So if you want to do like a little deeper to create more of a ombre effect, you could do the sides. So I sort of do it like this and that way I can step back, look in the mirror, see if I like my shape. And I'm still getting all the power of the liner so it's still around the edge. But I'm getting to really sort of design my shape as I go along. So now I'm going to put a second layer of lipstick. I like to do this because it kind of just seals it all in together. Oh, and isn't that the most gorgeous? rich, sumptuous lip colour. I love it. Kind of, I was missing this shade in my kit as well. So that's Velvet Cinnabar and Cinnabar Lip Liner. And here's how it looks on more skin tones. So the next shade is Velvet Intrigue and this is now the lightest shade of the True Velvets. This is such a delicately warm, light peach rose beige, I'd call it. It gives a really beautiful effect. So whereas Velvet Fawn, I'd say, was more 90s, to me, Velvet Intrigue is all about the allure of the 60s, albeit with a modern and wearable update. It still has a touch of smokiness to it, and it is just a really beautiful, light, alluring, 
peach beige. I'll just show you. You can see it's just quite a delicate shade. I'm actually combining it not with the matching lip liner, but I'm combining it with the Affair lip liner, just to show you how you can really play with the lip liners and the lip colors. And for me personally, when I wear a shade as light as this, I tend to wear a slightly deeper pencil. So this is a fair pencil with Velvet Intrigue. So this one is Velvet Four, and you can see it's a bit more of a cool tone. It's got a little bit more of a pinky brown to it. Whereas this is the new Velvet Intrigue, which is a little bit lighter, definitely more peachy and warm. And um, it is now the lighter shade of Velvet. And here's how it looks on more skin tones. So last but not least of the new shades of True Velvet is the shade Blush Lightly. And this was one that you guys requested. So everyone loves the shade Velvet Blush. It was probably one of the most popular launches last year and it's the most beautiful rich berry tone, pinky berry tone. Um, but there were lots of requests saying, I just love the tone of it. I wish it was a little bit less intense, particularly um, customers that had a lighter skin tone that wanted that color but found it was really quite intense when they had it on. So this is blush lightly. So it's exactly the same undertones, the same sort of color, but a softer and less intense version. So I'm going to show you actually now what it looks like as a swatch. So you can see straight away that the original Velvet Blush does have that intensity. It's gorgeous and I love it. But for everyone who requested, here is a softer and less intense version. So I'm combining it here with Blush Lightly Lip Liner. So this is to me like a really beautiful match. It matches exactly, it's slightly deeper, just gives you that definition but it's not making the lipstick any more intense. So I'm actually gonna remove this and show you how I applied it. So I'm starting by using Blush Lightly Pencil. You can see that these pencils just glide on. They're the dream. There's no dragging. And then they take a moment before they set. And I'm gonna use Blush Lightly on top. So that's Blush Lightly with Blush Lightly Lip Pencil. And here it is on more skin tones. So that's all of the new Velvet shades. So we've had Velvet Petal, Velvet Cinnabar, Velvet Intrigue, and this one Velvet Blush Lightly. And you've seen some of the pencils. So now I'm gonna show you the new shades of Gloss Embrace. So finally, the three new shades of Gloss Embrace Lip Gloss, and this Gloss, not only are the colors beautiful, but it's so conditioning to the lips. It has mango seed butter in, sunflower seed oil, acai berry oil, vitamin E oil, all of the good stuff that really repairs the lips. It can be used just on its own, which is obviously really nice and low maintenance, or you can apply it on top of your true velvet lipsticks, which is why I've actually put Velvet Cinnabar back on because one of the new shades is Cinnabar. So this of course can be applied on its own, or if you're gonna be extra, extra extravagant like me now, you'll apply it over the top of your True Velvet lipstick. Gorge. Mm. Delicious. So that's Cinnabar Gloss Embrace on top of True Velvet Lipstick Cinnabar and the liner. So the next new shade of Gloss Embrace is Petal. And this is the same as the new True Velvet shade, Velvet Petal. And you can see it's just a really pretty warm pink peony shade. This is a really nice one actually for every day because 
I haven't applied a lip liner. I've just popped it on. It's got enough color payoff to kind of give you something, but it's not kind of, it's quite easy. It's a, it's a low maintenance one. So I want to go out with a bang and I want to show you how I like to use sometimes just a lot. Now we've got all matching liners, just a liner and then the gloss on top. So this is something I talked about last year with the kits, but now we can do it with all the shades. So I want to use Velvet Dragon Gloss, but I'm going to start by using the liner all over my lips. So I'm kind of creating a stain, but I'm also going to do the shape at the same time as well. So that's my stain, and then I'm going to use the Dragon Gloss over the top. Delicious. I love this color. So that's just a really nice way to give your gloss more power and more longevity, more wow. So I've used the lip liner in Dragon all over my lips first, and then that's gloss embrace in Dragon on top. So that's it, that's my holiday lip collection for 2021. Four new shades of True Velvet, 17 now in total, can you believe it, started with three. Three shades in 2018, so um, so excited to have 17 for this launch. And of course now lip liners with all of the shades and three new shades of Gloss Embrace, so lots of beautiful shades there as well. So I'm I'm super excited. I promise you it's been worth the wait. I know I only launch these like once a year, but I promise you all of these shades are so incredible, so beautiful, and the texture is, well, it's award-winning. So enjoy it all, and um, I'll see you soon.